Hey guys, what is going on? Jurgen from Zergrino Sports here, and today we are back at it again with some more of our Smackdown Raw 2008 GM mode. Uh, this week, we will have, be continuing, obviously, our tournament to determine a number one contender for CM Punk's World Heavyweight Championship at the Great American Bash. Uh, obviously, last week, we had two uh, quarterfinal matches, and, and I lost in one of them, which ruined my whole plans for the tournament. Because I was playing as Jeff Hardy, I lost as Jeff Hardy, and Jeff Hardy was my guy to win it. Uh, so that that was a little bit unfortunate, but, you know, oh well. Um, yeah, other than that, Kane advanced in the tournament last week. Uh, well, th there'll probably be a little graphic on the screen right now uh, to show you, like, the progress of the tournament. So yeah, Kane and Ray advanced last week. We have two more of the quarterfinal matches this week, and then we will commence with the semifinals the following week. Uh, let's take a look at our roster here. Uh, here we go. Let's take a look at our popularity. All right, so Ashley's still at 99, even though she hasn't been on the program for weeks. Undertaker's at 92. So everybody's starting to get pretty good popularity, you know what I mean? Um, we've got MVP there, finally 85. I mean, he was above 80 before, but I mean, it was, it was a bit of a slow build for him, because... He started, like, with 63 or 62 or some shit like that. And now he's one of our more popular guys on the roster. Uh, obviously, Carlito and Edge, I brought them on in exchange for Michelle. I don't know if I brought anybody else with them. I think it was just those two that I brought over from ECW. I probably should have tried to get another uh, person, like another jobber maybe. Um, but, oh well. Uh, they haven't been too great popularity wise but hopefully we'll start to build them up soon Gregory Helms is in the process in, in the process <laughs> of uh of having building himself up for a big push in the cruiserweight division uh we got Matt Hardy there we got Kane there we got Chavo who's still below 70 which isn't good I uh probably should uh lift him up a bit uh then we got Regal there at 64 and Kenny's at a 26 popularity because he's lost almost all of his matches um, yeah, we've got a decent amount of time on all the contracts, pretty much. No injuries. And that's pretty much it. Let's take a look at the morale. Uh, now, Ashley wanted to be featured more. I think Batista wanted a title shot. Gregory Helms wanted a title shot. Jeff wanted a title shot. And Regal wanted to win or something? No, he wanted a title shot. Why? How? How the fuck does William Regal want a title shot? He hasn't done shit. Uh, oh, no, Batista doesn't want a title shot. He just wants a new contract. Didn't I give him a new contract last last week? I don't even know. I can't even remember. Wow. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. How much is it to extend his... F um, we'll do it after this week because we got... Obviously, we do our merchandising sponsorships every week. So after that, we will... Uh, we'll get that going. Um, yeah, other than that, Jeff wants a title shot, which I just don't, I don't understand how he can want one. Regal wants one there, and Gregory Helms, like, that makes sense, because he's been on a, I've been giving him a bit of a push, and she wants to be on a show again, well, you're not going to be on a show again, so take that, whatever, um, obviously, we can't propose a trade to Raw, because, ooh, whoa, 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 Bobby Lashley's got one week, hold on, they've got a couple, wow, half their roster's on one week, maybe they'll let some of these guys run out, man, I mean, Randy, if Randy could run out, dude, he's the tag team champion, he won it off of Triple H, um, Bobby Lashley is there, 93 overall, Jesus, that's way too high, uh, Sean's got a week left, he's the WWE champion, though, uh, Triple H, they must have just renewed, um, but yeah, if, if they, if we get lucky and they let some people run out, let's, nobody's on the free agency, so if that ever, uh, gets, like, opened up, I guess, we'll, we'll see if they let any of their guys go, because a lot of them have one week left on their contract, um, let's take a look at Raw this week, we already looked at that, because Randy won it with Sabu, why couldn't you have done Sandman and Sabu winning the titles, man, I mean, you've got Sandman wasting his time in this tag team with tag, with manager versus tag with manager bullshit match right here, and you got a vacancy here, just do fucking, like, I don't know, just do Nitro versus Henry, 
uh, Nitro versus fucking Randy or something like that, right? That's a decent ass match. And then fucking do Sandman and Sabu and then just do a women's match for their first one. Like, just book your show better, please. I want you, your champions to lose their titles. I mean, John Cena did lose his title, so if we wanted to bring him on, we could. Um, you know what I mean? They also have some people running out, except for, I'm guessing, Cena's been renewed. Yeah, it looks like... <laughs> You lost your championship? Here's a long renewal. <laughs> like, all of their people are happy. Let's look at the popularities. So, wow, John Cena is down to an 84. He's not even worth uh, getting at this point, is he? Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, I wouldn't say that. He'd still probably be worth getting. If I wanted to, I could move Ashley over and get Cena, JTG, and Shad. Um, I have a tag team added to my tag team division and i've got a main event mid card guy there or i could do cena uh king buka and i don't know finley or something like that you know what i mean so i don't know we'll have to think about that i don't think cena's gonna win the title back anytime soon and he lost it to F rick flair which i who i don't really want to sign on um we don't have any rivalries active at the moment because uh there's nothing really i've been doing my my tournament uh, so yeah, let's let's get into the show here. So this is the match card I've made for this week. Uh, obviously, during the tournament, I'm making the match cards before I start recording. Uh, once the tournament's finished, I will go back to making the match cards during recording. Um, it's just I play most of the matches on the card now, so I don't want to waste like half the video just talking about the matches when I play like almost all the matches. So, anyways, uh, yeah. So we've got we are starting off with a triple threat match. Between our cruiserweights, Ray, Helms, and Chavo, I'm going to play this match because I want to continue Helms' push. Then we've got a tournament matchup with The Undertaker and Carlito, which I'm also going to play because it's a tournament matchup. Then we got our merchandise sponsorship. Then we uh, we put some of the guys not being used this week in other aspects. So we got Jeff and Edge, who both need a win. We got Kenny and Regal, who both are on losing streaks, I believe, unless Regal went into business for himself recently, I don't remember. Um, so yeah, we got that. Uh, then we got Punk versus Matt Hardy again. Uh, I realized I was an idiot last week, so I'm gonna be like, hey, Matt wants a rematch because you cheated or some shit. Like, that'll be the kayfabe logic, right? And then I'm gonna try and win with Matt, and if I win with Matt, the next week we'll have a world title match between the two. Because um, I think last week I said that I was gonna do uh, championship matches for this week. But I realized that the raw pay-per-view doesn't affect this week's ratings. It'll affect the next week's ratings because the Sunday affects the following week. So there's no point in putting a bunch of title matches on a week where they don't have their pay-per-view. So they're not going balls to the wall, right? So, yeah, uh, I'm going to do it the next week to try and combat their pay-per-view rating. Uh, then we got Kane interfering with Raw. Just uh, didn't really have a, have a match for him to be part of. So I just kind of gave him like a promo slot to interfere. And then we're ending off with another uh, quarterfinal of the tournament, which is MVP versus Batista. Obviously, I'm going to play as this one. Play, Sorry, I'm going to play that match. I'm going to play the Matt Hardy match. I'm not going to play this middle match. Uh, I'm going to play this match, and I'm going to play this match. So that is our card for this week. It's not bad if you ask me. I mean, some decent popularities here and there. I mean, Matt's in the 70s, but Punk's like in the high 80s. Um... Undertaker is in the low 90s, Carlito's in the high 70s, pretty much 80. Uh, Ray's in the 80s, Helms is in the 70s, and Chavo's in the 60s, so that kind of is meh. But these guys are both 80 up, uh, 80 above, you know what I mean. Uh, Kane is a 75, hopefully the interference promotion boosts up his popularity a little bit and uh, loses Raw some fans, or gains us some fans, or something like that. Um, and yeah, I mean, Jeff and Edge both have in the 70s, I think, unless Jeff's in the 80s, I can't remember. Uh, but Kenny and Regal are pretty low down, especially Kenny, who is 26. So yeah, that's going to be our card for this week. And then, like I said, the next week we'll continue with the tournament and we'll be having some championship matches to try and combat uh, the Raw pay-per-view. Uh, but anyways, uh, I think that's pretty much good. Don't, don't really want to adjust the card. So we'll, we'll go ahead and confirm the match card here. And we will get into this match as your boy, Gregory Helms. And to help continue Gregory Helms' push, we're going to crack open a dead meme with the boys. You know what I'm saying? Ha ha ha, dead meme, crack open 
a cold one. I don't even know if the mic picked that up. That didn't fizz as much as I wanted it to. We got some uh, Mountain Dew Code Red this time, boys. Let's. I'm just missing some Doritos, and I'd be MLG, man. Let's go. Ah, so good, man. So good. Please sponsor me. Yeah. Boyka, boyka. That's my bueno. Boyka, boyka. Sick one now. Hey, boyka, boyka. Let me tell you what you're doing. Let me tell you. Na, 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 na. Space Invaders, too much damage for one to man is going 5150. Yeah, man, let's fucking skip his entrance because uh, it won't prevent his ass beating he's about to receive. Not only is this match going to serve a purpose in continuing Gregory Humms' build, his push, it's also going to hold a purpose in punishing Ray for beating me and ruining my goddamn tournament last week. <laughs> oh, man. I'm still kind of upset about that because I wanted Jeff to win. But I mean, like, I explained the whole situation anyways. I mean, I'm going to defend the title successfully with Punk at, at the bash anyway. Hopefully, hopefully I'll retain it successfully. I mean, I thought I'd win with Jeff and Ray beat me, so. Because that roll-up is really dangerous, man. That roll-up, if you have anything over orange body health, like, that roll-up's pretty much it. It's time. And the opponent. It's time. From Smithfield, North Carolina, weighing in at 215 pounds, Gregory. I don't even know if I was on, like, cue with the it's time because the fucking commentator's audio is so goddamn loud that it drowns out any freaking <laughs> entrance music. So I, got, I, I should probably go into the comments, uh, comments, what the fuck, options, and maybe turn that down. I don't know. Main man Gregory Holmes making his way to the ring. It's time. It's time. To continue his push. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's -a go. Obviously, with the help of this uh, Mountain Dew Code Red, please sponsor me. <laughs> we're, we're definitely going to win, I hope. Let's go, man. How do you play this game? Uh, okay. Oh, shit. What is this? Boom. Yeah, Ray, bish. Double team him, Chavo. Double Damn it, Chavo. Get out of the way. Damn it, man. I was trying to be a heel. He's not going to tap out this early on, Chavo. You're getting into the corner, too. Does this work in this game? I can't remember. Oh, it does. Cool. When you try and knee him in the back of the head, but it... Doesn't register. <laughs> so Ooh. great seeing these superstars in competition Ooh. here tonight. I had a feeling they're gonna Ooh, wind geez. up against each other sooner or later. There were times when it seemed like it wasn't going to happen. Oh, that's a kick to the chest. That's for sure. He's no, no, don't pen his ass. This could be it. Get the fuck out of here. Oh jeez, Ray with the reversal. Ooh. Yeah, smack his ass, slap his ass, dude. Come on, double team him with me. Chavo, please. Chavo, please. You fucking idiot, Chavo. God damn it, man. I had a perfect opportunity to double team, and he just kind of stared at us. Like, what the fuck? Oh, jeez, that's a nice-ass move. Holy fuck, I forgot he had that. That didn't work. What is this? Oh, he got to me first. <laughs> Boom, bitch. Get out the way. <laughs> Shit, that's a pin. Come on, get out of here. Get the... Yeah, come on, man. Gee, why do you keep trying to go for sneaky pins, Chavo? Like, fuck, man. God damn. You know what? Fucking Nick Patrick, get the fuck out of here, Nick Patrick, you piece of shit. Well the Ooh, Ooh Russian like sweet boy, let's go. Now it's time for Ray. Now it's time for Ray, yeah, bitch. What is this? Ooh, European uppercut, baby. That <laughs> oh, 
that was meant for Chavo, but it hit Nick Patrick right in the fucking head. He was starting to get up, and now he's fucking dead. Jesus. Okay. Come on, man. Come on. Get, why? Chavo, why? Fucking bitch, man. These superstars are at the top of their game, but only one of Damn it. I'm gonna get DQ'd because he won't get out of the goddamn way, man. And this is where things start getting Fucking Nick Patrick, you piece of shit, man. And there's the counter. He was one step ahead on that one. Come on, man. Come on, man. Ooh, bitch. Yeah, bitch. Get your ass up, bruh. Oh, I did the wrong finisher. I have the Shining Wizard. I forgot. Damn it, man. Oh, well. Man, this one's turned into a fight. Pure and simple. Get the fuck out of the ring. This is Gregory Helms' victory, bruh. Get the fuck out, man. There we go. That's how he wins. Not yet. We ain't done with you yet, bitch. Damn right, dude. That was probably a mistake. Damn it, man. Shit. Stop, 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 stop. Oh. Oh. Ooh, Luthez press, dude. Luthez press, dude. Let's go. Ooh. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Damn it, man. Ray, come on, dude. Just let me do my Shining Wizard. Stop with the pins, man. Get the fuck out of here. God damn it. Ooh. That's not what I wanted. Get your ass up, dude. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Come on, bro. God damn it, dude. There we go. Luthez press, baby. Let's go. That's not what I wanted. That's. Let me aggro Ray, please, for the love of fucking all that is good. Please. There we go. There we go. Shining wizard, baby. Shining wizard, baby. Shining wizard. Don't fucking steal my pin. Don't. St that's a submission. Are you kidding me, Chavo? Are you kidding me, Chavo? Are you kidding me, Chavo? That's a fucking break, you piece of shit, Chavo. I will freaking release you from your contract. I <laughs> don't think I won't. I'm gonna move my mic a little bit. Hopefully that didn't get picked up too much. Freaking dead. Beat it. Freaking gonna break your legs, Chavo. Gonna break your damn legs, Chavo. <laughs> what is it? Ooh, roll him up, dude. Not yet. Nah. Like that one too much. Get the f oh shit! He reversed my finisher. It should. These fans Ooh. Are the of WWE. I don't know. He's putting a lot of a line going what is this? there. Ooh, look at that. We going to the top rope now. We going to the top rope now. Let's go. That's uh. Come on, Ray. There we go. Let's get Ray. The crowd makes a huge Ooh. difference. Oh, damn it, man. Stop, please. Ray. Ray, please stop. Stop. Ray, Ray. I've seen matches won and lost because of moves. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Who do you think? <laughs> Who do you think you are, dude? Who do you think you are, right? I knew it was only a matter of time. Counter ref. Ref, 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 ref. You fucking, it was a rope, but still, like, what the fuck? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Smack the ref. Oh. Come on, man. Damn it, dude. Nick Patrick, if you don't get the fuck out of the way. Shit. Get the fuck out of here. Fugazi. Come on. Oh, damn. I accidentally freaking broke out of it. Damn it, man. I should have ended it earlier, shouldn't I? <laughs> I should have ended, I should have ended it earlier. Damn, dude. Stop trying to steal my fucking pins, man, you fucking bitch.
boy, motherfucker. These superstars give everything they've got when they're in a match like this, but a lot of people Shit. don't realize what they Come on, bro. Get the fuck out of here. No question. Get the fuck. Who do you think you is, Ray? Who do you think you is, Ray? Roll him up. Chavo, stay down, please. Come on. Ref, count it, you fucking waste man. He kicked out. Because the ref fucking took forever to... Hey, nothing wrong with doing whatever it takes to win. If it was that bad, the ref would have disqualified him, right? There we go. Shining Wizard, baby. Thank you. Thank you to Chavo for setting him up. If Chavo steals the fucking pin, you motherfucker Chavo, you piece of shit. Ooh. Get him. Ah, damn it. I'm trying to get it with the roll up, man. <laughs> Damn it, man. Are you kidding me? You piece of... Oh, my God. Get... Oh, you piece of shit. So he doesn't count right away any time. Okay, well, he was quicker that time, at least. Like... Boom, bitch. Chavo, it's time. Chavo, it's time. It's time. And Chavo's career is time. Oh shit, Ray reversed my thing. Damn it. <laughs> oh shit. God damn it. This is taking too long, dude. <laughs> Stop. No, 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 no. Are you kidding me? Get what? What the fuck? Hello. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill myself. I'm gonna kill myself. This game fucking sucks. How did that not break up the pin? For the love of Chef. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? How did that not... How did that not break up the pin? Oh my god, that's such bullshit. That ru Ray keeps ruining my plans. If this keeps up, I'm fucking trading him away. I don't give a fuck. I honestly don't give a fuck. I'll bring in fucking, uh, fucking Snitsky and train him to 100 popularity and replace him, Ray, with him. I don't give a fuck. If, if these Ray matches keep fucking up, I'm gonna be pissed. Because, like... Ugh. Uh, which... I think I'm gonna be Taker. Because I want, uh... I want Kane versus Undertaker as the uh, semi-final on that side of the bracket. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Bottle, bottle pop. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. I mean, Mountain Dew, Mountain Dew helped me in that match, but the game was like, nah, nah. You ain't, you ain't winning against Ray. Even though I had him beat, I was an idiot and freaking broke up the pin because I'm a fucking idiot. God damn it. God damn it. Oh, shit. All right, well, whatever. A people who don't want to be cool. Carlito, Carlito, Carlito is coming to the slaughter. Carlito. Yeah, I'm going to whoop his ass. I'm gonna whoop his. <laughs> I'm gonna whoop his ass. You know what, what? One thing that I haven't been keeping track of in this game is hometown people, because I have no idea where the fuck we are <laughs> for this show, and I have no idea that we have any hometown people. Because if you win with a hometown guy, it really boosts your rating or some shit. Ooh, punch him in the fucking head, head, dude. The yeah, oh shit. Oh shit. So long, and the dead man's Stop. Been there shit. For a long, long time. Ooh, that reverse that point, shit, bro. Ooh, right. punch to the back of the head. God damn it, Carlito. Why you gotta be oh. like this? Carlito, <laughs> why? Oh shit, uh, stop, stop. stop. Ooh, rolled out of it, bitch. Henry That's Henry not what I wanted. Why? Why? Jeez, why is he reversing so much already? 
Yeah. Ooh. Well, one mistake, and we're gonna see that fire put out. Ooh, look at that shit. Wow. Yeah, stomp his ass, dude. Person. Come on, man. Ooh, look at that arm drag. Ooh, elbow drop, bitch. When I first heard about this match, Bulldog, sure baby. Let's go. Oh shit. Ooh. Boom! Shaka daka. Let's go. Tap rope. Woo! Leg drop, baby. Ooh. Damn it. Uh, stop. Her leader, please. Damn it, dude. What is this? Oh, it's just a hurricane run. Okay. I mean, whatever, dude. Hello? Is he going for submission? Is that? No, okay. Anytime there's like a little stutter in the graph in the animation, it looks like it's a submission. Um, How can you say that? The dead man has proven himself. God damn it, Carlito, just let me do my freaking. Oh, just let me do my combo striking, please. Please, for the love of Chef. You bitch. There we go. Oh. Yeah, stomp his ass. Dude, I'm whooping his ass. Wow. He's like dead. Jesus, fuck, the impact in that. Oh, holy shit. Ooh. We going with a choke slam, baby. Oh, he reversed it. Shit. Yeah, bruh. You can't you can't reverse none of these fucking punches here, dude. Ooh. Yeah, bees ass, dude. Bees ass, dude. Bees ass, dude. Fucking boom. Get him with that shit, bro. And get his ass up. And fucking get him with another fucking combo, dude. Get his ass up and get him with this right here. Boom, bitch. Ooh. Ooh. I, uh, yeah, he's getting fucked, isn't he? <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Alright, this time, Carlito. I'm sorry. I made the mistake of, of not ending the first match when it should have been ended. I'm not making that mistake again. This is going to be rope, isn't it? This is going to be fucking rope. Yep. Look at that. That's great. God. Please, Carlito. You're just delaying the inevitable. That's the kind of attitude that gets you beat quicker. Look at that. Pandering Come on, bro. The there we go. Nothing wrong with keeping the oh, shit. customers happy while you build some momentum. No, 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 no. Boom. Right on your head, bitch. Boom. Boom. Stomp his ass. Get his ass up. Get his ass in the fucking corner right here. Damn it, man. Stop reversing my corner maneuvers. Ooh, look at that. That's going to be fucking rope again. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Unless it pushes us away perfectly. Nope. No, it doesn't do that in this game. That's rope. Yep. God damn it. <laughs> Don't, oh, <laughs> I was about to do my freaking dive to the outside. Don't think I won't. Ooh, Jesus. Ooh. Can I get him all red? This is probably going to injure him. Oh, I don't want to injure him, though. Yep, he's all red. <laughs> You did, dude. Yeah. Yeah, but you gotta worry more about the injury and less about the insult till the match is over. Ooh. All right, drag his ass away from the freaking ropes. Pick his ass up and get the tombstone. There we go. Third time's the charm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All thanks to this freaking Mountain Dew Code Red. You know what I'm saying? Please sponsor me. <laughs> Like I said, damn it, dude, they have the kick out animation in this as well. Are you kidding me? Oh, fucking god damn it, man. Are you. Why do they have that? Why? That's so bad, man. That's so shit. Like, it's honestly so shit that they have that. But, anyways, 
Undertaker moving on to the next round of our number one contenders tournament to face his brother and tag team partner with who he is tag team champions with Kane. That's all, that's that's what it is, dude. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's go. Yeah, man. So Undertaker advances. We got Brothers of Destruction facing off next week. <sighs> then we got this random throwaway. And of course, of course, of course, the two people with the lowest popularity and lowest win percentage, except maybe not Regal. Regal probably doesn't have the worst low win percentage because he keeps ruining my plans like he just did now. Of course, Jeff Hardy and Edge just keep losing. Like, it's just, you can't sim matches with the, like, the, I, I don't understand what it is with this game. Because when I, I didn't do a series of it, but when I, when I was back home, um, because my PS2's there, or actually, no, I played on the 360. When I played the SmackDown Raw 2007 GM mode, when you would simulate a match, and it would be like uh, Undertaker versus fucking, I don't know, Psychosis or something, for an example, Undertaker would win 9 times out of 10, because that's the realistic thing to happen. But in this game, whenever you simulate, for some reason it's like, hmm, hmm, let's see, let's give you the, let's give you the upset option, let's give you the unrealistic win option, just to spice things up, and it's like, why? Why? When I put Jeff and Edge against Regal and Kenny, it is obvious that I'm doing it because I want Jeff and Edge to win. Like, <coughs> that's all I have to say to that, man, fucking get out of here. Let's play this match now. We're going to be playing as your boy Matt. Matt Hardy. Hopefully we can get a win with Matt. That way we can set up a world title match next week. To be honest with you, even if I lose with Matt, I will probably have him in a world title match next week. <laughs> uh, or I'll have somebody who lost, like, I don't know, maybe like Edge or Carlito or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. On the way to the we will see. From Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 220 You got your boy Punk making his way to the ring. Without his title, which is still a big gripe of mine for this game. And the opponent from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 All right, man. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Let's whoop some ass, dude. Come on. We got this. God damn it, man. I'm just... First, first Ray ruins my plans two weeks in a row. Then Regal continues his trend. I thought I was punk. <laughs> Regal continues his trend of ruining my shit. I just... I just... God damn it, man. You know, from now on, if I ever want somebody to get popularity, I'm going to put him on a team with Regal. I don't think anyone in this match has even considered that they might not walk out the winner. Ooh, that's a fucking... That had some fucking stank on it, dude. That chop had some stank on it. My word. That's a reversal. Ooh, shit. Ooh, look at that. Boy, boom. Does he have a... Oh. Does he have a strike combo? No, he doesn't. Shit. Oh, that's a reversal. He reversed my dropkick, baby. Come on, man. <clears throat> oh, he's trying to submit me already. Punk, please. Please. God damn it, Punk. Why you gotta do this shit, please? And he's healing, right. I forgot that he had that ability. Which is why I really liked playing as him. In the, in the, I just hit my desk, I think. So, hopefully that didn't uh, cause too much of a... The exactly. disturbance in the audio. I love how we both lost momentum for that. <laughs> Even though he had the move on. Jesus, oh, that has a fucking load of stank on it. That's the Undertaker's DDT. What is this? Oh, Moonsault. Ooh. Pin him, dude. Ooh. Damn it, dude, that's a fucking... Stop. 
Ooh. Oh, geez, he has a spinning maneuver. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I got him, dude. Got him, dude. Oh, fuck. Shit, he reversed me, though. Oh. Ooh. Nice little back and forth here, dude. Ooh. Come on, bro. That's a nice, that's a nice running maneuver right there, dude. Holy. What is this? Is it a leg drop? And now he's going to give them exactly oh, yeah, nice taunting, you fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, Ooh, that's a stupid move. Does he have any springboards? Nope. Ooh. Nope, I made a mistake. Oh. <laughs> Rip. Don't worry, dude. Oh, you want a taunt? I'll taunt too. I mean, I pressed my taunt before you pressed your taunt, but you were already standing, so your taunt went ahead of my taunt, so it looked like I taunted because you taunted. But I mean, like, I had taunted first, though. It's just... Ooh. Come on, bro. Get, get these fucking kicks, dude. Ooh. Ooh, that's a failed leg drop. Dragon screw leg whip or some shit like that. It's called. Let's get. Oh shit! No, please. Get over here. Jesus, that fucking that has some fucking stank on it, dude. My word, that sounds like it fucking hurts. <laughs> Get him in another one. Ooh, man. Ooh. What's this? What'd I do? I messed up. I kind of didn't mess up. Gives us up. Ooh. There we go. Twist of fate, baby. Boom. What a twist of fate. Look at this. No fear on the face of this superstar. Ooh. Yeah, but that kind of thing's not gonna win you the match. Come on, bro. What is this? I may have screwed myself here. Uh, yeah, I did. Oh, I didn't lose all my. No, I did. Okay. <laughs> Shit. I have no momentum now. Oh, that's that's great. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, pin him, dude. Pin him, dude. Pin him, dude. There we go. That's rope, probably. Yeah. Ooh. Great reversal. Oh shit. Oh shit. Damn it. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Stop. Punk. Punk, please. Looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle. Damn, I love that move, and I wish it was in a different game because there was one of the games where like damage accumulated on your body. So like if you got smacked a bunch, your chest would be red. If that was in that game, dude, his chest would be fucking like beat red. Well, I wouldn't consider any of these superstars to be easy pickings, no matter how beaten up they get. Ooh. Damn it, Nick Patrick, you motherfucker. Oh, there goes the referee. God damn. <laughs> he ruined it. Ooh, shit. I didn't even press reverse there. <laughs> what? It reversed and I didn't even press it. Ooh. 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 Come on, bro. What is it? Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Come on, bruh. Let's go. Get him in the... That's not the corner. I wanted... Oh, okay. He reversed. Damn. Shit. Shit. Why did he lose momentum for reversing? He keeps losing momentum for reversing my Irish whip. <laughs> That's hilarious. Superplex? Is this going to be a superplex? Please. Yeah. Well, one mistake, and we're gonna see that fire put out. Yes, boy. Hey, All right, I think that now is the time. Come on, bro. Get him with it. Oh shit, he reversed. Shit, no way. No. <laughs> he reversed. I hope Damn this it. Isn't the last time we see these superstars face off. I don't say this too often, but I completely. I'm trying to get the side effect. That is not the side effect. That gave me a lot of momentum, though. And I just stole his finisher. 
Oh, oh wait. Oh, yo, this is a dope animation. It's cause, yeah, dude, that's dope. Holy shit. And now I have my own. There we go. Wow, that's great. That's fantastic. Boom. And now I'm gonna go around this side and hope that pushes. Yeah, there we go. He's away from the rope. Damn right, dude. Wow, that was dope. That animation when you steal a finisher is dope. I think I've seen it once before, but I forget like who it was with that I saw it. But that's actually so cool. So fucking cool. All thanks to this Mountain Dew Code Red. <laughs> Alright, so... Now, this means... That, uh, that Matt has a World Heavyweight Championship match the following week. Um, also, uh, Gregory Helms will be getting a Cruiserweight Championship next week, championship match next week because Ray stole his victory. Uh, he had the match won and Ray stole it. So, what we're going to do is have Ray versus Chavo, uh, not Chavo, Gregory Helms for the cruiserweight championship next week so we've got two championship matches for the following week following week, following week thank you <laughs> and we'll have a semi-final next week for the tournament and we'll have a couple more matches we'll uh we'll do that so we've got this going right here so that's how the card's been going so far ray stole helms's win undertaker beat carlito to advance Kenny and Regal ruined all my plans. Uh, Matt won, earning himself a World Heavyweight Championship match next week. And we have our main event of the evening being a, a quarterfinal match, the final one of Batista versus MVP. So, we're going to go ahead into this one. And here's what we're going to do, right? Now, I know all of you, know, you guys know that I love MVP, right? I mean, I like Big Dave too, don't get me wrong. But I just... MVP's moveset in this game is dope. His theme music is dope. So you'd think I'd play as him, but I'm going to play as Big Dave, and I'll tell you why, right? Because, obviously, like I said, Jeff was my guy to win. And, which means none of these guys were my guy to win the tournament. And they still aren't. Like I said, it'll probably be Ray, or maybe I'll do Kane. Most likely Ray, though. Right? So, what I'm going to do... Because this was my idea, and I'm going to play it out right now. We're going to have Batista and MVP. I'm going to play as Batista, and I'm going to beat MVP. Then, the next week, I'm going to have Undertaker's match with... Uh, shit, I can't do that. Because I want Ray to... Okay, so... <laughs> shit. Okay, well... Never mind. But anyways, when Batista faces off against Ray, so in two weeks then... Right? What we're going to do is we're going to do a uh, backstage attack by MVP onto Batista. <coughs> and then we're going to use that as an excuse as to why I beat him with Ray. And then we're going to start these two as a feud for the US Championship. So that's what I want to do. So that's why I want to be Batista. Because Batista is going to beat MVP. So MVP is going to be like, a hey, bish boy. And then screw him out of his shot. They're going to feud for the US Championship. So that's my plan. That's why I'm playing as Big Dave. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, man. It's time for a main event of the evening. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to watch this entrance. We don't want to watch this entrance. But you know what entrance we want to watch? You know what entrance we want to watch? The one that's coming up right now. One, two, you hear the clock ticking, tick tock, you about to stop living, tick tock, I want you to remember me, tick tock, but the dead no had no memory, I'm coming, nobody can stop me, nobody can hold me, nobody can control, I'm coming, I was too early, I'm here to do my thing, I'm here to bring the pain, I'm never ever gonna change, like, drop a can, I got the juice, off the leash to let the dog loose, woo, you know what I'm saying, man? I was too, I was too, uh, too fast at the beginning there, but, but I took a second. I was like, yo, where's the song at? And I was like, oh, shit, I'm too fast. But, and I resynced myself, but it's okay. It's okay. Because that music, it's, it's, just, it's just, I was just too eager to sing the song. Because the song is so good, man. The song is so good, just like this Mountain Dew Code Red really sponsored me. Okay, man, let's fucking, let's get into this match. 
Oh, yeah, man. Come on, Terry Funk, man. I forgot he was in this game. Forgot he was in this game, dude. Didn't he give uh, Didn't he give Dean, Am Dean Ambrose like a fucking chainsaw or something on Raw last year or two years ago or some shit like that? Uh, something like that happened. Ooh. What a reversal! MVP, come on, man. Let's go. Whoop. The adrenaline is pumping. Jesus. Holy shisa. Is this my first time playing as Dave? Big Dave? Big Dave? Is this my first time as Big Dave in this? I think it might be. Maybe once before, but I think this might be our first time as Big Dave. Because I don't think I've seen that move before. He's fucking me up though. MVP MVP is not uh, nothing to mess with, bro. You know, there's such a Ooh, big boot. Too much, and that's what I'm seeing here. Oh like shit, he reversed. He's wrestled this match his way all along. Ooh, that's a big boot, off. though. Get your ass up. And get they this, uh... Really Damn, he keeps reversing, man. There's no doubt that these fans love him. And he's feeding off that energy right now. Ooh, Look at that. yeah, dude. He's going to go over big with the fans and build some momentum at the same time. Boom, dude. Get him. Yeah. Ooh. Beat his ass. <laughs> These fans have got something they want to share. Are his legs actually at, ye at yellow health? What the fuck? How? What did I do to his legs? Oh shit, he reversed. He reversed again. Oh shit. I pressed that like a good two seconds before he actually did his move. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> What's with my reversals, dude? I'm doing them really early or not even doing them at all, and they're, like, working. Like, I did that way before it came up. What the fuck? Here, let me test something. Okay, that time it didn't work. Sheet. Stop. Stop. MVP. Boom! <laughs> Bulldog, bro. Let's go. God damn. Why is this mad? Like, why is this game so easy, man? Like, it's it's just like 2009, where it's it's really easy for the most part, and then you come up against like one match in like 20, right? Or in one in 10 matches, it'll be like actually hard. And he'll be like, what the fuck? And it'll be against somebody who shouldn't be that hard. Like, um... Okay, never mind. I was gonna say something, but it'd be a spoiler for one of my upcoming videos. Because I was trying to think of what my uploading schedule is. I think the video I was about to reference uh, would be coming out after this is coming out. So I'm, I'm gonna refrain from saying what I was about to say. Come on, bro. Why, why you gotta do this to me, bro? What is this? Ooh, I got... Damn, dude. Why is Big Dave so OP? Ooh, jeez. That's a nice reversal, dude. Tripping me up. Stop, 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 stop. Ooh. Oh, he's good. Wow, he does have a combination striking thing. That's kind of interesting. Come on. And now uh, we doing this shit, boy. Let's go. Get your ass up. You're not reversing my shit now. You're not reversing my shit now, bro. Boom, bitch. Get your ass up. Get your ass like this. And we gonna do some more moves. Running power slam. Is that what this is? He's got some power moves. Wow. Jeez. Oh, jeez, Rick. No, you reverse that one. Yep. <laughs> You can tell when it ran out. Man, this one's turned into a fight. Pure and simple. He's oh, what the fuck? Oh, that was cool. Yo, the way you rolled back into the into the pin, that's actually pretty dope. Like, that's actually pretty cool. He keeps reversing though. Like he he's like dead and he's putting up a fight, man. Have you ever seen a superstar? Wow, okay. This is interesting. He's actually putting up a fight. Now he's not. <laughs> Because he got an ob obligatory sell of the damage that I'm doing, but... Ooh, but I reversed that. Oh, god damn it, man. I just want to see what Batista's freaking strong grapples are. 
and I think we're gonna see that. I think Batista's overrated. I think we're gonna. Is this is a jackhammer? Is it a jackhammer, dude? Are you kidding me? Why? D what? Hello? I don't know why I stored that, to be honest with you. I really don't know why I stored that instead of used it, because uh, I'm in prime position to. Oh shit! He get, he reversed. Damn it! I thought because like the strategy I I think the strategy I formed was either hit him and then do the move or get hit and then do the move. I kicked out at zero. Holy fuck! Come on, bro. Yeah, come on, bro. There we go. That worked. What is it? Is this submission? Okay, I'm not actually gonna do it because I don't want to submit him. What is this? What is this? That looks so weird. <laughs> That looks so weird. What the fuck was that? Jesus. What the actual fuck was that, dude? Did he reverse? Please don't tell me he reversed. He did. Oh my. <laughs> he did. Fuck. Oh, he's not going out without a fight, dude. But that's good for the match rating, at least, you know? Ooh. Oh, shit. Gee, damn, dude. MVP is not giving up without a fight. This is nice, actually. Unless I lose. Oh, <laughs> he tried to do the Jericho pin on me. Oh, that's interesting. That's, that's funny, dude. Did I bust him open with that, really? Ooh. Alright, get your ass up, dog. Don't reverse it this time. Okay, he did. Good. Alright. You put up, a, you put up a, a valiant effort. MVP, but I'm sorry, I have to end this. <laughs> oh, man. There we go. Batista moves on to the next round. Oh, man. Of our tournament, man. So, yeah, Batista moves on. This is some good shit. Uh, and now we will start a uh, rivalry. After we get into the menus, we'll start a rivalry between these two. That way I can do the rivalry in place of match thing when they face off the following uh, in two weeks from now. Batista. Oh, there's your boy Big Dave after a, 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 a good win to advance himself in the tournament, obviously. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Okay. Career highlights competed at his first WrestleMania in WrestleMania 23. I thought that said he was 23 years old when he competed in his first Mania. I was like, dude, that's, that's, a, that's pretty good. We got a three star. That match was a three star. That was three and a half. That was two. That was three. And that was three and a half. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I mean, this was a glorified squash, but MVP put a little bit fight into it, so that's nice. Um, this was a squash where I kind of went easy because I wanted the match to go a bit longer <laughs> and get a better rating. Uh, this was a squash... That was pretty much just a squash. Carlito didn't really get much offense. And then this match was decent, you know. The fact that the Cruiserweights are getting three stars is good. Because at the beginning of the show, they would get like two stars, right? So it's good that the Cruiserweights are starting to get better. Uh, we didn't have the best show this week. We actually had the worst show. Uh, but that's fine. Whatever. Uh, who gives a fuck, really? Uh, they got Vengeance coming up, actually. We haven't done anything here. But we are going to start a rivalry between... Uh, where, how long do we want this to last? To the Bash or to SummerSlam? Uh, let's let's do the SummerSlam. You know, Batista versus MVP to SummerSlam, maybe? Or... No, we'll do it to the Bash, I guess. And then if we want to renew it, we can renew it. Um, let's see. Duh, oh, whoop. Can I do Ungrateful Rookie? Because I know that's one of them, right? But uh, I think... Was it not one of them, Ungrateful Rookie? Was that not... Oh, it's only two-star. Mm, I see. Uh, Hungry Challenger. Let's do Hungry Challenger. Let's do Batista versus MVP. There we go. Uh, should we do it to SummerSlam? I don't even know. Because, I mean... I'm trying to think. If I bring in Randy, Sean, and... No, we'll do... Uh, <laughs> what am I saying? 
we will we will continue it to SummerSlam. We'll let that go to SummerSlam. That'll be our rivalry for now. I don't think we have anything else because, like I said, we're doing our tournament, so all of the efforts are kind of being put towards that. All of the champions are in that, so I can't really start rivalries unless I, you know, like this one right here, because Bray is gonna go on to win, and we don't have a proper tag team unless, well, unless we do Matt and Jeff again. But you know, it is what it is. Uh. Yeah, those are our current champions, sure. Let's take a look at our roster, see what our uh, morale is. All right, so she is, the time off was fine for rest, but now I'm starting to get ring rust. Please schedule me in a match for the next show. If you want to match that bad, Ashley, I will put you in a three-on-one so you get fucking destroyed, okay? Shut the fuck up. Uh, I'm becoming a big part of the show and I'm not being rewarded properly. We really need to discuss a contract renegotiation. Here's the thing, Jeff, right? Um, you just lost, right? And it's like, I have no problem with giving you a contract. You know what? Here, I will renew your contract. Whatever. Now you want a title shot. See, that's the problem. And Batista wants a title shot. He doesn't even want a new contract anymore. He's flip-flopping. Edge wants a freaking win. Okay, fair enough, to be honest. You want a title shot, which you'll get next week. MVP uh, wants a new contract, which I'm not willing to give you just yet. Maybe next week, MVP, after we get some more money. Um, you want a title shot. Fuck no. Abs fuck no. Like, all of these people want title shots, and it's like, bruh, like, slow your fucking roll. Like, honestly. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. I mean, Jesus. Okay, well, eh, whatever. Let's uh, let's continue to vengeance here. What is this? Five weeks on top is good. Dear GM, you have kept one of your superstars on top on the top of Power Twenty Five list for five weeks in a row now, and that is a good thing. This counts for something you know now in your quest. You know, in your quest to become general manager of the year, now go do something else good for the WWE. Okay, so I went up to 11%. That's not really a big thing, but whatever. Um, let's take a look at WWE.com, maybe. Let's see what's happening. Fan change is raw gaining fans. That's great. Yeah, whatever. Fuck off. Okay. Um, let us... You know what we're going to do? We're going we're gonna to send somebody to interfere... We're going to send Kane to invade their fucking... He just invaded. He's going to invade again, dude. That's not a good idea, actually. Um, it was a big success, which is fine. Uh, the only thing is... Yeah, I gave him fatigue. Uh, fan change. Raw gained a lot because they had the pay-per-view. Sure. Uh, Vengeance ended up being an exciting the fan favorite match of the night. The overall pay-per-view rated rating came in at three and a half stars. All right, I mean, fair enough. <coughs> All right, well, we're just gonna have to do better than three and a half stars on SmackDown, hopefully. So we had Sandman vs. Elijah with a two and a half. We had that at a two and a half. We had that in, in, as a three. How the fuck did that get three stars, man? That got three and a half, and then that got three and a half. They were about to put both titles onto Randy, really? Okay, well, I mean, HBK retained. Um, let's take the free agency. Nope, nope, they must have uh, They must have renewed all their guys. Okay, and, and girls. Except maybe, I don't think any of them actually had their contract expiring. <clears throat> Yeah, they yeah they renewed everybody. Yeah, that's for sure. All right, well whatever. <laughs> uh, let's uh, let's just I guess train up some of our guys in popularity. We'll send. Okay, who? Okay, so um, Carlito just lost, so we'll give him a trophy date because he needs it. We'll give. Uh, what does the villain movie do for fatigue? High levels of fatigue? Then no. Uh, we'll give uh, Edge a trophy date, which was a success. Okay, that took a long time to load. I was kind of afraid my game was going to freeze. Uh, <laughs> then who else lost? Uh, Chavo lost, yeah. Uh, and Jeff lost. Okay, let's give Jeff one, because when I try and give him popularity the right way by winning matches, the game's like, nah, nah, not happening. 
not happening. You know what I'm saying? Help WWE promote itself and earn a nice paycheck while you're at it. However, extra stress will cause fatigue. D- is that pay? Is that a paycheck for the guy or is that a paycheck for my company? Let's do. Let, let's try this one. Let's try the promotion and let's try and give it to. Um, oh, we, we probably need a face, don't we? Let's give it to Jeff, man. Why not? No, I just did Jeff, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know. Let's just give fucking Chavo a. <laughs> uh, let's give Chavo the trophy date, see what happens. There you go. He gained five. Whatever. Who gives a fuck? Let's take a look at what Raw did. Raw got two star. They had two vacancies. This, this, and this shit show. That's whatever. ECW got three and a half. ECW are picking up their shit, man. Do they have a pay-per-view coming up, dude? No, they don't. Are they seriously just building for SummerSlam? <laughs> wow, they're starting their build. They have one after Unforgiven, but that's a while away. And then I've got No Mercy. Uh, Cyber Sunday is just Raw, I think. This is shared. That's just ECW. That's mine. That's raw, that's shared, that's mine, that's ECW, obviously, and then Mania. Oh, man. We're, uh... <laughs> We're not off to the best start, I guess. I mean, we've done one month, two months. We're about to finish our third month, interestingly. Okay. Well, anyways, that'll be the it. For, that will be the it. That will be it for this week's episode. We're gonna go ahead and save that. Uh, yeah, man. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, subscribe, share it all your friends, all that good shit. Uh, if this is the first episode you're watching, go. Uh, I believe at the end cards, I'll have a link to the playlist of this series and on the end cards. So just stick around for the end. Um, and uh, yeah, check out my Twitter link in the description. Uh, as always, if you have any suggestions for storylines, matches, t- trades. Anything like that. Uh, tag teams, even. Anything like that, leave it down in the comments. And I'll see if I can uh, fit it in. Um, I will pop up the updated tournament bracket once more to end off the video. As you can see, Taker advancing, facing Kane next week. Um, and then uh, Batista and Ray will face off the week after that as Batista advanced this week. And then, I'll, and then after that, we will have the finals of the tournament. Uh, so yeah, man, let's, uh, yeah, um, I'll, if, okay, <laughs> I don't, I don't know, I think I just had a stroke, I don't even fucking know, um, I, there might not be a video out on Sunday next week, it might be out on the Monday, like, I, I usually like to g- get these out on, uh, Sunday, I record them the Saturday or early in the week if I'm busy on the Saturday, and I have them up on the, on, on, on the Sunday, uh, I'm going home for reading week, and I'm not bringing my recording setup with me because uh, it's it's a lot of shit to lug back and forth. Because I got to bring my computer to record on, and I got to bring my monitor because of the computer, and I got to bring my TV, and I got to bring my console, and I got to bring all the fucking everything. Uh, it's just a lot of shit for just one week. It's not really worth it. Um, but yeah, so I'm not gonna be bringing that shit home. Um, what I've, I've done, I, you, you're, you're going to be fine for uploads for the week. I'm gone because I already uploaded road to WrestleManias and shit like that and scheduled them out. But what I'm going to try and do is if I can, I'll record, uh, next week's episode today, the same day I'm recording this one and just schedule it for that. If not, I will have the video up on the Monday, hopefully. So yeah, I don't know. It's just. It depends what I can do. Anyways, yeah, once again, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, share to all your friends, all that good shit, and I will see you guys next time.